Lakota two horse slant bumper pull here at Halet Trailers in Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, what I like about these is that they're built every good as the Lakota goosenecks, which frankly, I'll set side by side next to anything in terms of pure construction. They are easily one of the very best constructed uh, horse trailers I've ever seen. And they didn't scale it down on a bumper pull. They just made the whole thing smaller. You know, you've got the same um, ribbed aluminum sides here, all aluminum construction, one of the best warranties in the business. Uh, you know, the drop down uh, feeder doors that actually have a little handle lock system here. So when you're going down the road, the door doesn't uh, bounce around or anything. The handle locks right in place. Then you give it a yank. There you go, locks right up there nice and tight. Easier uh, uh, grab handles here. And even the, the feeder windows have a little slider panel. So even if you don't want to open the whole thing, you can still give your animal some good ventilation there. When we get inside, try to take special note, because I often forget to point out when we get inside, of how they uh, just anchor these uh, tie downs in. If you can get a horse to rip that tie down out, you got way bigger problems. 100% LED lighting inside and out. Tail lights, marker lights, every darn thing, 100% LED lit. Even love the way they reinforce the uh, the um, wheel wells here, your fender guards. The uh, uh, you know running boards here, weld right up to it to offer support to the front side. And then just to make sure, they also gusset the back side. And I mean, there's no need to step on that. That is just there for pure support, you know. Their hinges are some of the bulkiest I've seen in the entire business. They have some of the beefiest hinges I've ever seen. Um, you know, LED floodlights and uh, tail lights and everything. Slider windows on the rump side here. Uh, we'll get up to the uh, dresser in just a moment. Just got to leave this open for myself. You can get this in a couple different configurations. Sometimes they'll have it in a rear tack, sometimes no rear tack, just depends. Um, so if our video looks a little different, the, the gist of the fact that this is a two-horse slant Lakota still holds true. The equipment might be slightly different. This video is not necessarily the exact trailer you're looking to take home. Please keep that in mind. When you do see saddle trees in a Lakota, we like to upgrade these to the saddle boss. Um, unless for some reason there's a huge part supply shortage, we will put these in every time that we can because they just hold the saddles on better. You don't have to worry about your tack falling all over the floor. This is all aluminum, all removable. The tack closet you see has a little pull tab up top. You can pull that out of place. You can collapse the whole thing against the wall if you need to. This stuff in here is not garbage we forgot to take out. Lakota does this in every trailer so that when you take it home, you're less likely to have boot prints all over the place. And when their guys are in here working, you don't see their shop boots stomping all over your trailer. They are that concerned with you having the best possible experience right from the start that they even you know protect rubberized flooring. They are extreme in what they, they do for their customers. Interlocking, plank, heavy duty cattle flooring basically. It's one of the heavy dutiest floors you can get out there. And there's other guys with a very good floor like that, but less often in bumper pulls. A lot of bumper pulls they will cut back on their construction. I love the way they finish off the whole rump side here. This is a, a, a nice rubberized kick plate here. Also has a, a very thick rub guard, so if your horse likes to set its uh, its butt against that uh, going down the road, it's not going to get that like sore rub spot. Now take a look at this. Where you see their welds, they actually go through with rubbing alcohol and clean them. They're meticulous. Again, you know, they, they don't just leave a dirty weld later on. They even clean their welds before they leave. They, uh, they're very specific. <laughs> You know, padded um, uh, dividers here. You can see that they're one hand operated. And listen to that. They're almost totally dead silent. And I'm not trying to like cheat it by half holding that thing. You know, just pushing on it. It is not loud. You're not going to spook your horse. You know, that's one of those. You just, there's just less of that stuff you got to deal with. They do such a good job in here. Um, flipping around. Talked about the LEDs. Talked about those. Let's step up into the dresser here. Even the dresser has a nice little breathing window. Um, your, all of your door holdbacks, by the way, they are metal, not plastic, so if a wind gust kicks up, you don't got to worry about them snapping and replacing. Um, same flooring, same system in here. Uh, you have the, uh, your, your real sat rear saddle tree can come up in the front tack if you are so inclined. And, I mean, there's more meat in the walls, the front walls of this, than a lot of other brands even dreamed of. They don't just frame it in. They have studs. These are every 12 inches they got on studs, and they add extra support here and there where they found that they need to. They, you know, they add gusseting to the top. They're very, very extreme in their construction. And that's what I like about these. You buy a Lakota, you don't come back for service. 
You just, you don't have to. And it's, it's all the little stuff, and, he, and here's why. Your seven-way plug, they put on a little plug buddy right here, so that when your trailer's not in use and storage, you can keep this up shielded out of the weather so you don't get premature corrosion of your seven-way. Because you don't think about that. You know, when you're getting ready to leave, your mind is on what you're doing. Your mind is on, I gotta move the horse to the vet. Your mind is on, we're going to race barrels this weekend. Your mind is not on, I wonder if my seven-way plug works. I should check that the night before. Nobody thinks of that. I wouldn't, I never did. We used to, I grew up riding horses. And it was always, we're getting ready to go to the fair. We're getting ready to show horses. And dad's up here trying to figure out why a light's not working. Turns out it's that seven-way plug because one of the kids left it sitting in the mud puddle. Now we don't have that problem. It's all that little stuff that adds up to make this such an amazingly high-quality, reliable coach and affordable. That's the thing. We're located very close to where these are built. We don't have silly shipping costs. So we can get you one of these a lot cheaper than a lot of people because you're only buying the trailer. You're not buying uh, hundreds and thousands of dollars of shipping costs to get something from Oklahoma where they build awesome horse trailers. But you got to pay tons of money to get them shipped here to the Midwest. This is built local, sourced local, service local. You know, I, I believe in this trailer wholeheartedly. I feel like uh, it, it's safer for your animals. I feel like it's longer lasting. It's the last trailer you will ever need to purchase. 800-256-5196. Hey, let's trailers of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy trails, everybody.